All right, welcome to Hardly Week. I'm Desi, and we've been running through a series that I've been helping a friend who has been cyberstalked. And I have no updates this week on what they've been doing yet. Uh, they've still got a few things to check off on their list, including talking to cybercrime to get an image of their device for evidence before we move on to the stage of wiping their devices and resetting up their accounts. But what I wanted to share today is some information around GPS and your Google timeline. So this was one of the things that came up while I was working with them. And for context, they uh, live in Brisbane city in an apartment building. So you can imagine there's quite a lot of digital noise there. There's some very tall buildings where they live in the apartment complex. They um, have a few devices like I've mentioned previously. And so we were looking through Google timeline because the concern with it was there was a someone logging into their Google account to try and track them um, using their own Google timeline. Now, if someone was logging in on another device, then there's potentially going to be evidence of Google timeline from that device if location services were turned on. And when we looked at their device, they had said that they'd just been in a building all day, that they had never left. Now, um, there's no supporting evidence for that other than anecdotal evidence. And this was a couple of months ago. So human memory is also fallible. So that's a consideration. But there was a few little spikes coming around. So what I've got up here on the screen is, let's say that this was their building. This is my Google timeline for, for, you, for knowledge. I was in Sydney on the 19th of July. Um, I'm sharing this because this was just an apartment that I will never stay in again um, that I had booked. But uh, so 20 Austral Drive, uh, Avenue, let's assume that, that that was my friend's address that I'm helping. Um, they had a few spikes coming out to just like different streets, that kind of thing. So they believe that they never left the place, but they had those spikes. Now, what we can do here is um, we can look at how GPS works. Now, GPS is just a bunch of satellites, and then uh, the data comes in from the satellites to try and predict or to measure where where you are on a map. Now, this isn't accurate within, say, one meter. The accuracy is quite good, but it is quite good in an open field. So um, it's got like 95% of the time, you've got an ac horizontal accuracy of 1.82 meters. Now, if you go through and read this, this is just from the a US website. So it will also depend on how many satellites you have. Uh, this is in an open field. Now, what makes this more less um, accurate is it's blocked due to buildings, bridges, trees, indoor or underground use um, if signals are reflected off buildings and walls. So you can imagine like in a city, you're gonna have a lot of buildings. If you're inside, then that's another one of these that it's just said. And uh, yeah, the, I, I guess like it's saying that it's being reflected or blocked. So um yeah these are common issues of why your accuracy might decrease also again how many satellites you have in the path i'm going to add this link uh, into the video so you can go read about this i'm sure there's one that might be better for australia and i might have a look for that maybe the accuracy is different um depending on the uh how many satellites are within range depending on which city you're in but i just wanted to highlight that, that that's kind of a consideration here what we're looking at now is, I guess, what we were looking at Google Timeline. So as you can see here, it's actually pretty accurate. Where we were wasn't built up. Um, there wasn't too many trees around, like we had a, a quite clear path. Um, and all I was doing was walking up to these set of shops. Um, so this was in the, in the morning and then in the evening. So I went up for like a brunch and then I walked there for, for dinner as well. Now, for my one, I did go through mine and try and see at my home location um, whether the accuracy was the same. I have mine linked, so I've got location services for my home internet as well. Um, so it's probably improving the accuracy there because it's linked to that. Um, but I just wanted to to kind of show one of the steps that we were, one of the concerns that my friend had that they were being stalked. Now, the evidence that I linked to this was I looked for on those days where 
they were concerned that um, it was the stalker using the Google timeline was I actually went and looked in the Google security logs, which only lasts for 28 days to see if other devices had signed into their account specifically on those days and, and before those days. So we we're in about the mid, mid month range. So I had about 13, 12 days worth of data to, to go look at. And there wasn't any sign-ins um, at the time there. So the what we're doing is we're not dismissing the theory, but we are looking for supporting evidence for the theory. And at this point in time, there's no supporting evidence to the theory to say that the person had logged in, was using the, the Google timeline, and that they were the ones walking around the building. The more logical explanation for this is the GPS accuracy being in the city. So where, where we could go from here is I could take a few of my devices into the city, I could be in a building, spend some time in the building during the day, and then see what my Google timeline looked like, and if I was having those kind of off spikes uh, into the city itself, just to see if I could replicate that. If I can replicate that with other devices, then it's more likely that that uh, hypothesis for that theory is correct. So um, when we're investigating, um, it's great to come up with these ideas that we're, we're trying to solve. And then what is needed is the supporting evidence to go and have a look for that. But I just wanted to add that this week, um, there's no update in terms of the evidence or what we're doing for the cyber stalking, but it was one of the questions that came up and I wanted to touch on it and kind of show some of the evidence here and, and you'll have some links um, to go read about GPS as well if you're interested. But thanks all for watching. If you want to support the show, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and comment, all of that helps, good or bad. And um, yeah, I will see you guys all next week. But if you do want more content, check out my website, highlyadequate.com. Catches.